All right, sticking with the life gear, I uh, want to show you something, you know, talk about thinking outside the box a little bit. You've seen some of those little survival kits in an Nalgene bottle uh, type gear, and life gear has taken it one step further. Um, they have multiple ones. If you check out their website, this one is the Music Edition. Uh, it has a regular uh, earphone jack. It comes with the cable that goes from your iPod, your cell phone, um, and then over to... The, uh, the speaker here is a volume control and a speaker and uh, it is quite loud I, I must admit that has a lantern for hanging up there's a light here uh, inside the bottle sorry. you can see there's lights that face the opposite direction um, you've seen some of my canteen lantern slash combos and uh, this works very effectively I believe it is a half liter container uh, it is out of, of course, the BPA free and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it does have, I'll pull the uh, info card out here and uh, show you. It does have a removable little sippy top, uh, which is a neat feature. But this one, again, is the music one. They have a first aid one, they have a survival one. Uh, I believe they all, or you can just get just the lamp, uh, the light in the bottle. But it's neat, you know, you got flashlight, speaker, and a lantern uh, all in one. Uh, very cool something I haven't seen ever before uh, the cable fits inside it just plugs into the earphone jack of any of your mp3 players and then into the speaker jack on there um, neat cool product uh, we're gonna be testing out this weekend here so you know thinking outside the box you want that lantern combo that a lot of people have been talking about my other ones that I've been using and uh, this one will entertain you with your mp3s uh, you could easily also hook it up if you're you know running radio or no alert uh, just to get a louder speaker but um, very cool all right we're gonna see if we can save the uh, battery of the phone a little bit put that it's probably louder I got in jail in Starkville, Mississippi for picking flowers. Well, let's take I was the top off. Let's leave that right there. I was there. walking down the street. What? Hey guys, Beast 1210. Uh, kind of doing a wrap up review on uh, the bottles um, by Life Gear. Uh, right before this, should be an intro video of. Uh, when I first got it back in September, uh, early October, I kind of did an intro vid, so I won't go over all the features, um, but I will tell you it's done a just superb job. Um, I uh, did take out the the little sipper insert. Uh, it's got a you know decent sized wide mouth. I didn't really have a a problem with it at all. Uh, I wanted to give it a good amount of time to thoroughly test it. I don't know what the material is. Uh, it just seemed a little bit more brittle than uh, like a typical Nalgene. But this thing, it's got steam in it now, or you can tell it's, it's kind of scratched up. It's been riding around um, daily in a backpack, uh, rolling around in the back of the truck for a good part of the winter. Um, it does have the uh, little feature, and I'll roll in a video of, uh, of dialing that in. But um, you know, I'm super happy with it. The only thing I wish it would have a slightly different volume button. Um, I did notice uh, it got accidentally turned on a few times. Not necessarily the tactile switch for the lantern feature. Um, and I'll roll in some, some nighttime shots of that. Uh, but overall, I'm extremely happy with it. It is a half liter design. Uh, so I used it quite a bit with the Steri pin, which is you can do either one liter or a half liter. And I been thoroughly impressed with them if you have any sort of iPod or mp3 player or you know anything like that it's just a, it's a really nice tool to, to keep and have you don't notice it it's not extra heavy you know it's it's not overbearing to where you're constantly like gosh you know it's you're taking this off because it's just so heavy uh, you don't even notice the weight on this and like I said if we come up with a slightly different uh, volume switch uh, a couple times I went to use it and the, the batteries were dead. It takes three AAAs um, that are in there. You don't need any tools or anything. It's got a nice easy cap that you just switch over. 
but uh, I'm super happy with it and I'll roll in some other videos but uh, overall this is uh, since October till uh, late April um, haven't, I haven't had anything break or fail or nothing and so look at them they've got about six I believe different variants some that come with a little bit first aid in there if you want to use them as just st strictly emergency uh, use but I've been using this thing every day as my drinking water and um, you know if you got an mp3 player or something especially that doesn't have external audio um, you know I've been actually hooking it up to my phone uh, just to save the batteries on the phone a little bit and uh, we'll be back So like I was saying, if you have an MP3 player, especially like an iPod or a little shuffle, or you've seen the little like $9 MP3 player I carry, there's no speaker or anything on there, and so you have to hook it up to a stereo or some other device. Um, initially, not only do you get a louder speaker out of here, uh, but I believe it'll save the battery a little bit. Let me turn this on. Um, and actually, what... It, what <laughs> Let me turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit, but I mean, you could easily have that in your tent or out camping or just like what I'm doing when I'm working on the truck or I'm out here just kind of enjoying the wilderness. What, Especially what I've got here, uh, what you're listening to is the Outdoor Allowed from, uh, it's Adam from Equip to Endure and uh, I believe Garrett from uh, Woods Monkey and they do a weekly podcast. And... Uh, I'll come down here and just work on some camp projects and do some other things and I'll hook up my phone that I put the mp3 on um, you can also get it on iTunes and stuff like that but they've got a real nice you know podcast going they, they're starting to fine-tune everything I was just thrilled to death they actually mentioned uh, my YouTube channel uh, I'll turn that down a little bit uh, they mentioned my YouTube channel uh, last week so I mean, really, they, they've gotten a nice format down. They kind of do a, a weekly gear review. Um, they've got quotes. Um, Garrett kind of puts up a website, and now Adam's going to kind of bring up a couple YouTube sites uh, for you to check out. So they've really got just about anything, not not necessarily just their gear reviews, and uh, but they offer up, um, you know, things that they found that maybe you don't know about, maybe some websites and whatnot. I really go to his uh, CryptoEndure.com or Woods Monkey, and they'll both have the uh, Outdoor Loud podcast. But, um, yeah, so I mean, that's essentially what I would do is come down here, play around, hook up my phone, basically kind of save the battery because it takes more power to, to power a speaker than it does just to send the signal to something else. And this is self-powered. So, and, you know, if it gets a little dark, you can run both. And if, if you need an area light, and again, we'll do some nighttime shots here, um, you could have a little lantern and play your music. And I just think it's a really neat piece of gear that's uh, kind of got a little bit of everything going for it. And uh, you can see it's got some of the dents and stuff like that, but you know it survived. I haven't had any issues with water leaking or anything, and I would suggest you guys uh, look it up. Go to GearLifeCompany.com, uh, and um, I'll put it in the annotation. Uh, I have not seen these in the store, although I see a lot of their other lights and stuff in the uh, in a lot of stores lately, especially the little glow sticks. But I have not seen that, so you'll have to go to the website to uh, to purchase that. But thanks for listening.